Um, Keenan, it'll be your first game back from the fractured shoulder. How are you feeling? Yeah, it feels good. Um, I, can't, I had to come in every now and then during the off-season just to do some extra rehab to make sure I was sweet to go by um, pre-season. So I did all of that, done all my contact and stuff leading into this game, so I'm all good to go. How hard was it, uh, I guess, struggling with that injury after you got a few games together last season? Um, yeah, it did suck, especially after being injured a fair few times before. But um, it was nothing new coming back from an injury, and this one wasn't too bad. Didn't have to get surgery or anything, so it was all right compared to a few of my past injuries. Yes, you've had a few knee breakouts, haven't you, Keenan? So you've had that, the mental anguish of a long rehab. How hard were those periods for you? Um, yeah, they were, they were pretty tough, but um, it kind of just taught me that I've still that I've got a good um, support base behind me, and then especially at, at a club like this, where we got this facility and everything here to help me get back to where I was before I got injured. Talk to us a bit about that, the string of injuries. Like mentally, surely it takes its toll and you haven't quite cracked a long-term deal. Yeah, it was. I'd be lying if I um, said it wasn't hard or if I didn't think maybe I won't make it to the NRL. But um, since I've got such good people here, help me get back on track. And then I've got all my mates, like I'm living with Paddy Carrigan. He's always there in the back of my ear and challenging me to do this and do that. So it's always good having these boys here keep me on track. And um, when I got my debut, I guess I just never looked back. Do you ever think you're getting the game away, Keenan, especially after the second knee? Um, yeah, I did. After the third time, I did my knee. But... Um, I guess I just couldn't, couldn't, I couldn't really bring myself to stop playing, so I just gave myself no choice. So, how do you gain confidence back in your body, then, given it keeps faltering on you? Um, just doing stuff at trainings, um, and then seeing players like Tones come back, and he's just as good as he was before, and again, like Paddy Carrigan come back, and he's gonna, he's gonna have a blind of a season, so I think just seeing other people do it helped me you know, realise that I can do it too. So is it three ACLs, a fractured shoulder? Yeah, and MCL, and PCL, an ankle, and a hand. <laughs> <laughs> All before I was 24. Yeah. What was it like getting out of bed in the morning? Was it yeah, no, I, I'm, I just turned 25 last month and I feel 45. So <laughs> <laughs> Haven't thought of a new career? Yeah, no, I think I should start thinking about one. <laughs> what was rock bottom, Keenan? Um, oh... Probably during the COVID period, when COVID first hit and I wasn't able to play any footy and I was kind of just running up and down the sideline with doing my rehab, that was probably the worst I've had it. But um, yeah, like I said, like I've got a good support base, so I never really had dark times where I was really struggling. It was just more whether having a mental battle with myself, whether I'm going to make it to the back into the NRL or not. You showed a lot of development at the back end of last year, but do you see yourself really challenging for a starting spot this year or where do you want to play middle or the edge where do you, where do you see so um yeah i think anyone that says they don't want to play, start for their club especially brisbane broncos is, i think they'd be lying a little bit because um but with the team we got here i'm happy to just come off the bench and fill in middle or edge but um personally i'd rather play on in the middle yeah a bit less thinking do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have? Uh, no, two more years. Oh, this year and, and one more. So it's probably good to have enough security, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is good. Do you have meetings? Like, have you spoken to Kevy and, and realised that yeah, you're happy to? You said bench, but a starting spot would be ideal. What's the feedback been from? Kobe? Yeah, um, yeah. Um, I think I'm going for um the left back row where Capes is. <laughs> no, um. Yeah, I've spoken to Kev, he's um, kind of just told me where he sees me, but he's still every session challenging me to push for that starting spot alongside Payne and Paddy and stuff like that, so yeah. Has so, Paddy tried to use your case study for his physiotherapy degree yet? Nah, he hasn't. I think he'd probably fail because my body's fallen apart and i got shit all over the joint in my body, so... <laughs> Who's, who's doing the cooking at home? Because he's looking pretty big at the moment. Who's that, Paddy? Yeah, who's doing the cooking at that? Oh. I'm doing the cooking. Don't say if Brandy Piracura says he's doing any of the cooking, he's lying. I don't think he can even cook two, uh, two minute noodles. But um, yeah, Paddy, he's um, he's always on top of everything. Like he's probably the most determined person I've ever met. So um, yeah, he made a goal to come back bigger and better, and he's definitely come back bigger, and he'll prove that he's coming back better too. What about Ezra here? You, it's, it looks like he's waiting for a compliment standing here watching you. No, I think he just wants to get in front of the camera. He loves the camera. <laughs> what about for him, Slightly? 
this weekend and, and him out there as well. How excited are you to play alongside him? Yeah, it'll be good. Um, I've never played with him before, but um, I played against him once last year and thought he was in Q Cup and I thought I'd get at a little body and he picked me up and dumped me on my back. So at least I know he can handle playing against men. So I'll, I'll be looking to defend next to him. He can look after me instead of the other way around. Is he, is he the one kid that's really special here, can you? Pardon? Is, is Ezra the one kid here that's quite special? Yeah, yeah, it'd probably be him and um, Brandy Pukura. He's only 19. I think people forget that he's that young because de he debuted this year. And Ezra's going to he's gonna debut anytime soon. He's a freak as well. Not that well. He's probably letting you know what he'll do. No, he's, he's on the way out. He's getting old. <laughs> Funny, is it? <laughs> I'm half of him. Looking at the, the, the culture of this club, do you think it's a happier group than a few years ago when you went through some dark times? Do you see more solidarity here and a happier team? Yeah, at the moment it feels way better, a lot better than um, past seasons. Um, especially even coming through the back end of last year, I think we were starting to build a better group together. And um, Kevy's been good with this preseason, bringing in like Darbs and stuff like that, semi fighter comes in every now and then, just getting those old players that have won a lot in the game and just getting us and getting them to teach us what they've learned over the years. So I think, um, yeah, Kevy's doing great getting us all together and stuff like that.